Hello everybody! Happy Halloween! Trick or treat for everyone! I hope that you are having a great day today. This is Alex at your service. Now I will be giving you the latest news and updates about your favorite cryptocurrency. All right? But now, um, this is not just an ordinary news. It is very intriguing and it is really um, an interesting news for everyone. All right, now I know that you really want to know the news, so let me give you the details, all right? So guys, this news is brought to us by PCN, or Preferred Currency News. Blockchain could be a solution for low-income earners lacking access to banking. Let's see. Research has it um, the research, research has it that close to a third of the world's population don't have access to banking services. Mobile money transfers lauded for its uh, efforts to bring ex inclusivity and equity. Now, a report from Times published October 29th gives insight on blockchain technology and explains why a third of the world's population lack access to banking services hence instead have opted and prefer mobile money transfer. The report is tiered from a statement of the World Bank president who spoke out in who spoke out in Washington earlier this year, drawing a comparison of cryptocurrencies to Ponzi schemes. On the contrary, cryptocurrencies and blockchain are already taking center stage in international development many in the development sector have high hopes that blockchain will offer solutions for close to 1.7 billion adults who aren't in the banking system now a third of the world's population lack access to banking services this is evident in individuals who earn low income thus are not in a position to access financial services even in the developed countries it is recorded that only 15 percent of americans over 15 years prefer using financial services of banks however this issue is dominant in developing countries whose citizens are forced to take high interest in formal loans save money in cash and also make dangerous journeys to hand over cash to business associates of family members. Now, the executive chairman of Blockchain Research Institute, Don Tapscott, Tapscott writes in his blog, Blockchain Revolution, that Blockchain could be a solution by lowering barriers to financial inclusion and enabling new models of entrepreneurship. The tonic of the market could be brought to bear on the dreams and ideas of billions of the unbanked. Right, it could be. Mobile money transfer lauded. Technology has, has had a profound effect on financial inclusion with the evolution of mobile money transfer. The best known form of this is the Kenya's M-Pesa, which is attributed to over 6 billion transactions annually and is being put to use by most households in, households in the country. Right? So, um, the service works via tax where an M-Pesa agent deposits money to an account linked to a customer's phone number and a tax with the detail sent to the recipient. The money deposited can then be transferred to another number where both parties will receive a message with the transaction's details. The money can be converted to cash by an agent. A study conducted by MIT and Georgetown University economist found that M-Pesa has lifted the lives of 2% of Kenyan household from poverty. Wow, this is really a great news. Blockchain has been lauded as the next frontier for financial inclusion. However, blockchain wasn't designed for low-income customers in mind and does not always address the challenges they face. Women, on average, have also been found to be far less interested in the emerging space. Alright, well, um, even though it's normal, right, that there will be some that will not be interested in the idea and some will be interested in the idea. But we just hope that 
blockchain could be, right? Could be really a solution for low income earners lacking access to banking so that we will have another option. Um, we will have another option in order for us to, you know, be also be part of the community. Like, um, you can feel the belongingness, right? All right, so guys, that's the news for today. Now, please visit preferredcurrency.news for more news and updates. So if you subscribe, if you subscribe now, you will be the first one to get notified of the new updates every day. All right, you can use PayPal for a monthly recurring. That's only $15 per month fee. Or you can use the Coinbase option that's for only $180 annual subscription to be paid with crypto all right so guys what are you waiting for subscribe now all right because when you subscribe i assure you that you will have the information that cannot be found anywhere else on the internet but only here at preferred currency news all right so guys that's it for today's news thank you so much for um watching this video and i hope that you will be watching more of our videos all right this has been alex saying bye